Well, the Treasury Secretary yesterday uh, uh, acted like there are minor differences. Um, the fact is that we don't need to have deficit spending targets. We need to have spending relative to our GDP targets. And I think this is really an important uh, difference. Uh, you know, how you solve the problem, whether you let uh, government end up being a bigger share of our economy, which is what the Treasury Secretary is really saying, I right. had, have had conversations with him, or whether you want uh, spending at the federal level to move back to historic levels. And that's the type of legislation that I've moved forward that has bipartisan support, uh, Joe Lieberman, Claire McCaskill. Jim Cooper uh, in the House. And so those are two competing visions. There is no question that we need to solve this problem. This is the most important thing possibly that will occur during the Obama administration. But it's how we solve it that is so important. And I think it's important for Democrats to really sit down and think about what their view of the Democratic Party going into the future is. Is it, is it the government taking an ever bigger piece of our economy, as Treasury Secretary Geithner is alluding to, right. or is it getting back to historical norms and having an operation that's much like it's been in the past? So when he says that long-term deficit targets are enough to start the conversation. You do not think that's true. Well, I think there needs to be a spending I, I, target I think as well. We need to have spending targets. And, you know, the fact that already, uh, and you know, I, I try to solve problems. I don't try to be pejorative. But the fact that the administration has already begun with class warfare types of, of throwouts, if you will. I mean, you know, taxing uh, folks uh, 250 and above, uh, that just generates $70 billion, if you will, a year with a $1.5 trillion problem. So we have to get to real solutions that have to do with spending reductions. The CAP Act that I've offered takes us down to, the, to that level over a 10-year period. It's not extreme. But it really changes the, di the dynamic by $7.6 trillion over a 10-year period. And what it does is force us to redesign the entitlement programs on a bipartisan basis so that they're going to be here for future generations. So these are very competing, two totally competing views yep. of the world. Yep. And so Americans really need to tune into this. You're